2805 2800 kV motors two cell but they run on four cell really well and three cell so we're going to fly this in a second Very fast motors. A little bit hard to control with the Nays 32 having such high KV per volt and running on three cells. I'll readjust the camera here. I'll show you a punch out. I just uh, adjusted the accelerometer. And it seems to go out just like the free flight accelerometer used to lose its uh, ability to sit in there at a level position sometimes, depending on your startup, I think, and how the board's positioned during the startup. So best to leave it still. Let's uh, reposition the camera here. Uh, the Emacs motor, I found a bad winding and it ended up cooking one of my ESCs. So my new Emacs motors haven't arrived. And that's sort of a bummer. It's been almost a month and a half now, which is extreme, or gadget extreme. But hopefully it'll arrive soon. And I'll have four fresh motors and four fresh ESCs to try out. But I may just stick with these 2805s because they are seriously fast. Okay, so we can almost see the top of the tree, so let's go for a punch out here and see how fast it goes up. Almost too fast to control, actually. Good recovery, though, with those high-speed motors. A little bit windy out today. Let's go further out and do a little bit of a punch out here. Definitely the wind playing a part in its handling. And that was full throttle pretty much, so. And we heard the uh, voltage alarm buzzer go. Oh, the prop hit something there. And we'll punch out here. Definitely a contender for the speed race. I have to get an OSD on it though to get my kilometers per hour. The NAS is very impressive, I gotta say. It handles uh, no shaking, no adjustments to the pids. I did change one, raised it up a bit for these motors. If my FTV camera comes, then I might get this set up, but I'm ordering a new transmitter for this quad. And I have a Skylark OSD coming for it, supposedly, but haven't had much luck with a Volcanlo. Had a bad OSD, had two bad VTXs from him. One was a Hornet, and one was the Blue Sky, which is the uh, X600, I think, on Hobby King. It's a micro 5.8600, and it was total crap. And I just ordered a 700 and I just received it with my FedEx shipment. 700 Fat Shark for a client with a zero UAV. So we'll see how that turns out. But as far as my stuff, I think I might get a few more batteries. And uh, pulled out and get some Tiger motors perhaps. But flight time's going pretty good on this. I think we're coming up on our voltage alarm now. Quite faint on the NAS 32. 
not quite that loud. Here we go, let's punch out once more. Definitely slower. So the battery's coming down in power. Handles really well though. 